Large storms are coming to the United States today, and these storms are going to bring more significant severe weather to much of the United States. This includes the threat of significant large hail, damaging winds, and even a couple of tornadoes from the lower Midwest back into the southern plains. In addition to this, we'll also be dealing with a large cold blast this weekend that will cool down a very large chunk of the country. In this weather forecast, we'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the severe weather event and this cool down that will be coming to the country as we go into the weekend. So let's begin right now with what's happening across the United States that'll end up leading to this threat of severe weather today. And we will actually begin with the lower Midwest and back into Missouri, which is where we do have some thunderstorm activity out there right now. And this is what's going to be the trend later today, is that there will be storms developing back across Missouri and Illinois. And that is where the initiation will be for severe weather later today. And these will eventually move to the south and east where damaging winds, large hail, and even a couple of tornadoes will be possible. But one area that I've not talked about yet that is going to also see some really significant storms will be actually back down in the southern plains. This includes areas like Texas, Arkansas, and even Oklahoma, where later this afternoon, we will be dealing with some of the highest Cape values I have seen in quite a while, which for those that don't know, that is essentially instability that is in the atmosphere. We could have some areas upwards of 5,000 joules per kilogram later today, which means that storms are highly likely basically to develop, and the storms that do develop will be producing some significant hail, damaging winds, and maybe even a brief tornado. But I think the main concerns will definitely be large hail down that direction. Now back over to the west of all this activity that we have right now, it's pretty nice, pretty dry overall, and even back out to the east on the east coast of the country things look relatively good right now not looking at any sort of severe weather threat in either two other areas of the country really the main concern is going to be split right down the middle across areas in the ohio valley and as well as the lower midwest and back through the southern plains so the storm prediction center for today has issued an enhanced risk for severe weather this does include illinois indiana kentucky tennessee missouri and as well as arkansas so basically a half a dozen states are included in this enhanced risk for severe weather and this is where the greatest threat for severe weather will exist. This is a three out of five on the severe weather scale. So if you're watching our live stream yesterday, we had a slight risk. So this is going to be a bit of an uptick from that. And this is the area that where I would be the most concerned today about some damaging winds and large to very large hail. There is a tornado risk here, but it's not nearly as high as the other two threats. So definitely make sure that you do take the proper precautions for large hail and damaging winds. The slight risk of severe weather goes from Indiana all the way back through Central and North Texas, where there will be an elevated threat down this direction for large to very large hail in Texas and Southeast Oklahoma. And we also have a marginal threat, which is a low end risk of severe weather that'll go into areas like the Dixie Alley and also back into Ohio. So overall, I'm not super concerned about those in the marginal threat, but still stay weather aware today, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. By the way, we will probably be live for this severe weather event later today. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I'm not sure what time we're going live. It'll probably be a little bit after the start of the event so around 4 30 or so central time is when you can probably expect us to be live then here's the damaging wind threat across the united states so notice that red area that is where we're dealing with the potential for damaging winds this is a 30 percent chance of damaging winds between 60 and 70 miles per hour which would be within a 25 mile radius so essentially this is a 30 percent chance of damaging winds within a 25 mile radius and that chance gets lower the further south and west you go from that area now the large hail threat is really the greatest concern for today for most areas where we are going to be talking about the potential for even some significant hail you see this hatched area here that represents that we could see some hail exceeding two inches in diameter which means that up to baseball sized hail is a possibility today that's pretty large by the way so make sure that you are definitely protecting your vehicles and also make sure you're protecting any outdoor plants any outdoor patio tables that are made of glass that also should be at least under a patio porch or something like that so it doesn't get hit by hail here's the tornado risk overall today it's quite low it is a little bit higher, though, back over in eastern Missouri, southern Illinois, and western Kentucky, and northwest Tennessee, and southwest Indiana. It's a little bit conditional, though. It's not exactly 100% going to happen, but if we do get tornadoes, a couple of tornadoes would be possible across this area. So overall, make sure that you do have a tornado action plan in place. There is also a low chance for an isolated tornado as far south and west as areas like the Dallas and Fort Worth area, and even back near Waco, Texas. Now, I did mention with this setup, there is a lot of instability. 
here are the instability values this afternoon this is crazy we're talking upwards of four to five thousand joules per kilogram of instability later this afternoon across much of north texas again these values are not very common so this is really crazy to see this sort of stuff we could actually get close to records in texas if they go much higher than that maybe near five or six thousand joules per kilogram but once again a lot of instability today which does mean storms are pretty likely to develop across north texas tornado parameter values they're not super high today but there will be a little bit more of an elevated tornado risk after 5 or 6 p.m tonight so that is when i'm watching for the greatest tornado concern if that does get going across southeast missouri and eventually into the other states that are right here along the mississippi river but I do think the greatest tornado risk will probably peak sometime between 6 and 11 o'clock tonight. So it'll probably be over a span of five hours. So again, we'll probably be going live a couple hours before that. So you are ready for that severe weather threat. Here's the timing for today. Storms will fire up across areas in Missouri right around 3 o'clock. These should not be super significant around 3. But by the time we get closer to 4, the large hail and damaging wind threat will start to pick up with this area. So definitely make sure that you're watching the weather very closely and stay vigilant across Missouri. By 5 to 6 o'clock, storms Storms approaching St. Louis by 7 and 8, they'll move into southeast Missouri and southern Illinois. And by 9 to 10 o'clock, storms are out of most of the state with damaging winds being the main concern if you're in far southeast Missouri. Now, as we go into Illinois and as well as Indiana, things will stay dry until about 4 or 5 o'clock. That line of storms will start to approach St. Louis and Springfield where damaging winds is the main concern, but large to very large hail and a couple of tornadoes are going to be possible. By 8 o'clock, those storms are rolling through Champaign back into Terre Haute and eventually going into southwest indiana where damaging winds is the main concern and by after midnight most of the storms are back into kentucky and as well as back into tennessee speaking of kentucky and tennessee there will be some storms this afternoon these are going to be some of the semi-discrete and discrete storms that fire up ahead of that line of storms and these these are mainly going to be the producers that produce large hail once we get closer to nine to ten that line of storms moves into the western side of the state daylight heating should weaken out a lot of this activity as we get past 10 o'clock so any significant severe weather will be primarily confined areas in western Kentucky and western Tennessee. Anything in central and eastern Kentucky and Tennessee will overall be weaker activity with maybe some isolated damaging or gusty winds being possible. Arkansas going to be a bit of a hit or miss today. We'll have some storms again developing out in front of that line since there's just so much instability. There will be some severe weather there, large hail being the main concern, but maybe a couple of storms on the northeast side of the state, maybe even near Little Rock by around midnight tonight with damaging winds being the main concern and maybe even some large hail. Now, Back down in North Texas, this is an area where storms are almost definitely going to fire up today because of how much instability we have. Around 4 or 5 o'clock is when storms will fire up right around the DFW Metroplex. Large to very large hail and damaging winds are the main concern, but maybe an isolated brief tornado. It would be a very brief threat, though. We're not looking at something significant, and by after midnight, storms are done there. Goodbye tomorrow. The severe weather threat is finally under a slight risk for severe weather for the first time in literally years, it feels like. That'll be across areas in the southeast with isolated damaging winds and hail it is time to take a vacation to tahiti so we can go have an enjoying and relaxing weekend here across the united states here's what we're looking at as we go into this weekend a large cold blast is coming to the country many areas will be below average for temperatures going into friday and saturday across the midwest and the central and southern plains we will have another video on this tomorrow so stay tuned more detailed forecast on what to expect out of this and by the time we go into tuesday into wednesday we actually could get another shot of cold air in the northeast no snows in the forecast but this could get pretty interesting uh, as we go into next week as well with well below average temperatures coming to the united states just in the time for the end of april thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already 